So now we are going to do the LCMS thing. So suppose you made the sample, um, you dissolve the sample in HPLC grade methanol, and then you have to take it with a syringe and we have the microfilter, so we have to, uh, you have to filter it in this vial and we have also a specific kind of this uh, cap uh, because the middle is sensitive with the cap so we have this in your in our lab so you made the sample you come here and first thing is this this guy so if you don't see anything like this uh, sometimes um, what is that okay so sometimes you might see here like just uh, this one so this like submit sample okay mm -hmm. so click this and definitely you will use your username um, that will be here uh, you can also type this one so i'm getting my one oh i can record your password no <laughs> So maybe you can give one or two, whatever. I had two. So uh, if you have two, then you have to put two. Then click next. And here the sample name, you have to put the name like maybe this. And injection volume three, description, you can put. Mm. Whatever the oh, that's like what? What's the M stand for? Muhammad or Mashallah? Whatever you don't need <laughs> to explain this. <laughs> okay. So there are like couple of gradient option here. So normally people do like three minute gradient. Also you have four minute gradient if you want to see here. Mm -hmm. So maximum injection volume is fifteen microliter and um, forty two hundred percent. So sometimes you also can give like both like it is default three minute gradient so if you select both so it will do both first three minute gradient then it will do four minute gradient so normally we don't choose it but sometimes for a specific reason you can choose it and give next wait why is the one below that the same thing what is that is that identical the, the third line it's still four minute gradient uh yeah but i don't know why that is like yeah. definitely in the method there might be some changes anyway yeah. so click next then it will show you where to put your sample see okay. one two three four five not in this bigger one remember okay. so one two three four five okay. and the one is greener okay yeah. so if you come here here so you uh, you will uh, see this. Uh, this is one. Yeah. This is two. This is three. This is four. Oh, this mirroring. Is five. Okay. Okay. Or not, not mirroring. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to put this one here. Okay. That's it. And then go to like finish. That's it. You don't need to do anything. Okay. Cut. So so um, it will start running by this the submit you you can see so which one did you open up for this one it, it is already open it, it was already open you uh. will always see this like a zealand mass hunter walk up console so always you will get it like okay. if you have this just click submit sample suppose someone running the sample already so don't, you don't need to worry about it you can just log in in your account password group id and uh, oh, okay. number of sample then go next next and select oh, the method should. and okay. the time and like finish okay, okay. so uh, now um, suppose you want to see the data okay yeah. so um, you can find out this LCMS offline uh, data analysis okay okay so go to file load signal yeah okay load signal and go to here like data mm -hmm. and find your name like your account name go there and uh, according to date you will get your data so today I'll, I I did like this data so um, I can double click it and I can see that mm. 
and you can click on those peaks and you can see the peak values okay. how did you get onto this page again what how did you get to this page overall this page okay yeah so file load signal oh no, no i mean before that like, how did you open the software like which oh. where was it? yeah well, did you have it open already yeah it was open uh you can see oh. here like okay. One is online, another is offline. Okay. To see your data, you have to choose the offline one. See, okay. just make it close. So here you see the offline, and here you see the online. Okay. So you have to go to the offline and go to file, load signal, and my part, my data. So here I opened it. So I can click all those peaks and to see like what is the mask uh, I'm getting. Two zero two. So you can also do one thing, go to extract ions, file, extract ions, and you can put here the specific ion you are looking for. Suppose I'm looking for 339 and whatever other uh, ions are okay. So just, um, what is it? Okay. So it will extract and go, you can go down from there and you'll see those peaks and click those and you can see those are like in, in terms of retention time so you can see something there yeah. 383 so we have to find out what is 383 Okay. Yep. So that's it. Like if then you can make the uh, data analysis by like making report or something from here. You know, like a spectra. So you have to go through all those things. You you shouldn't change anything because it is made for everyone. Normally, people just check the mass, like with the peak. In terms of the peak, click on that, then you will get the hundred percent peak. That is like mostly the mass you're expecting okay so depending on the different peak here so or the bottom one you you can see maybe those are like different channel so whatever like i normally just click on those peaks to see like what are the value it is showing okay that's it So what did you say? Can you repeat that? Yeah, I was asking, yeah, why are there like multiple channels? Like there are like five different. Seven.